Hey everyone, some listeners may find potentially sensitive content in this episode. Please check the timestamps before listening. You know what's kind of weird? I've got quite a few photos here. None of me and Gina, but I have got a photo of me and Gina's brother. <laughs> he bought it. Like, it's the glass one at the back. There. He bought it for my birthday, just a photo of me and him. Shout out Gina's brother if he's listening. <laughs> Are we actually recording right now? We have, we have some like stuff that'd be played at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Because I quite like the way that you guys do that. Like it's, It seems like you start it without anybody knowing. You just sort of start it in the middle of the conversation. When we like come to someone's house, they come, we try not to talk to them. As in like... I know what you mean. You know what Gina said? I was talking to Gina the other day. She was like, we should go for lunch before the podcast. And I was like, yeah. I don't want to do that. Like, no. cause, uh... We did that once and it was yeah, yeah. to recap, basically. Because like even right now, there's a couple of things I'm like considering like talking about. I'm like, oh, we should wait until we start. Yeah. Okay, hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of The Third Wheel. I'm one of your hosts, Aaron. And I'm your other host, Hamish. And today, for episode 106, we're joined by Matt. How are you doing, Matt? Would you like to uh, introduce yourself? I'm good, yeah, really excited to see you guys again. I've been a, an avid follower of the podcast since day one. Glad that, uh, Aaron, you finally <laughs> invited me on. Yeah, it's been, it's been a long time. About like three years or something like that. Is he about but... the 100th guest that said that? Is that <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, it's been like... Uh, we were going to have you on, yeah. and then I remember you messaged me about like keeping it a secret. I, I did. I was being a bit melodramatic. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that it would be funny <laughs> to just like send it out to the group, because Dara had already done it, and Gina had already done it, and obviously um, uh, yeah. James and Anna had as well. Uh, but yeah, no, really, yeah. Uh, really but at least to... all, those, all those people that were at our third wheel party that uh, <laughs> you told, <laughs> they don't have to wait no more. Are you guys going to do another one for, for my episode, or for <laughs> episode uh, 200? 200 god well, i don't, I don't know when time. we're gonna i don't know when we're gonna get to 200 yeah, yeah. if we had a full-on production team or so maybe we could be churning out episodes like that but we yeah. don't <laughs> yeah yeah five years from now but yeah we we know each other we live together we first did. year of uni yeah that's weirdly scarily a long time ago now like seven eight years something like that seven years so you didn't live together in the first year yeah yeah we did yeah. we always forget because like jack martin too. 2014 yeah, yeah, because like we we kind of had like two floors like right on top of each other, and there was kind of quite a big blur between the two, right? Like we used to sort of spend a bit of time together, and I ended up moving in with Dan and Dar, and uh, yeah, stayed in touch. Were you upstairs or downstairs? I was I was upstairs with Matt, okay. yeah, yeah, and then I kind of right like down the hall snaked to the upstairs a bit. Yeah, downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> we really wanted you as well. Like, yeah, it was anyway. in demand, man. I kind of didn't really finish introducing myself, did I? I'm Matt. I used yeah. to live with Aaron. I live in Clapham with Josh and my other housemate, Kadir. I work in pharmaceuticals, and that's one of the things we were going to talk about today, as well as a few other topics. I must admit, when I saw the agenda, one of the things was just game. And I was like, do they mean they want to talk about game? <laughs> what, the, <laughs> what, the store? No, no, game. No, as like, in like game, pull. like on a night out. Oh, and I was like, game. why are you talking about that with me? Who are you like, talking about that? Have you talking about that? <laughs> I've been with Gina for seven years. <laughs> like, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> but yeah, for a second there, I thought you meant the game, like, you know, the store Yeah, game. I know you're talking about it. Is that even still a thing? I thought like a lot of this thing went away, like, but they have some left and that was the Reddit drama after. Mm. Was, that was GameStop. Was, was it GameStop? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, that was yeah, like yeah, a US GameStop, one. I remember. Oh, I, this one I've seen, I've seen games around before. So yeah, yeah. Because I know the other UK one went bankrupt, and then Game bought them, and then Game started closing down. But I don't know if Game still exists. Yeah, not sure. Have you been anyway? Last time, I don't know when the last time we saw each other. Like it was at your party. Was it the event? Oh no, it was. It was so I saw you at the party. That was oh, last time I saw Hamish. But then I saw September you September um, twenty one in Paddington. Yeah, we, we went, went for, for dinner during breakfast or yeah. dinner, whatever it was. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, which was early. Yeah, been up to anything recently? So yes, I since I last saw you, I started a new job, which is good. I've been doing a bit more traveling as well with that job as well, which is like a lot of fun. And because uh, I didn't do much of that before at all, just like in the UK. No, like so, I'm going to Oslo on Monday. Oh, nice! Um, a couple of weeks ago, we were in Copenhagen, but again, like I didn't really get to see the city. It was like we straight from the airport to the hotel, which is where the meeting was. And then we went out and did karaoke. <laughs> so I saw like the only bit of the city I actually saw was like night karaoke. Everyone was smoking inside, which was weird as well. And then went straight back to the hotel and straight to the airport in the morning. So yeah, I think on Monday though, I'll get to see a bit of Oslo, which would be nice. I was looking at going Oslo in July. Yeah. But that was just because May and I had a plane in Oslo. What? Why were they there? For like pre-season. Oh, okay. So like before the season starts, they will do like tours. Yeah. On the team's. And then they had one game in, 
in Norway. So I was like, mm, could I? How do you feel about their performance this season? Just, just <laughs> bad, just bad, just disappointing, just disappointing. Because like at the beginning of the season, I yeah. was like, you know what, we we can win the league. You know, <laughs> <laughs> don't say that every season. Like, like... Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, Eric Ten Hag season coming up. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, to finish, I think it's statistically our worst ever season. Is it? Yeah. What, like, what, what points do you wise? Mean? Like, oh, oh, just points like the wise, lowest, okay. lowest, like, points we've ever got in the Premier League, anyway. So, yeah, just bad. Are you not thinking of jumping ship like James did? Nah, nah, no. nah, 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 nah. I've, I've, I'm um, like. If you cut him, he bleeds red. Yeah, you don't know. I'm, I'm, <laughs> when it comes to Man United, I'm kind of built different. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, you should. You should support them through the less good times as well. Yeah, I had a great childhood. Growing up with Man United, I've been watching a lot of Arsenal games with Josh because he's a, a fan. I got to say, it's so depressing. Like, <laughs> oh, it's oh, just oh. the most like like consistently disappointing team. Like I remember at the start of the season when they lost against Brentford, Josh and I, I was like, they're going to come seventh, I think. And Josh was like, no, they come eleventh, and now they're fifth, and he's still disappointed. Did you um? So would you class yourself as an Arsenal fan? Or no, you just not of... really. I, I I like watching good football, but like I'm not really. I'm not really into a team. Like my family's team is is probably Wigan Athletic, yeah. which is like still the only team to win the FA Cup and then get relegated in the same year. <laughs> I don't think anyone will do that again. But even, yeah. I know, even I know the name because I remember them in Premier League. Or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but that's a long time ago. I don't think they're going to come back for a while. Yeah. Maybe. Do you watch AFTV at all? No, Arsenal fan TV. No, Josh might. To be fair, but I, uh, I think he, he, uh, he would probably hate it. I Why? think you need to see it. It's like basically me and fans. Like after, Arsenal fans after the game, they like interviews with fans and stuff and reviews. And Arsenal fan TV is probably the most like famous fan channel mm. on YouTube. And it's just because they're like, especially like a few years ago at its peak, like any every fan in the country wanted Arsenal to lose so they can go watch AFTV afterwards because mm. it was just good entertainment. <laughs> like just their just fans people just sitting around complaining, angry, yeah, <laughs> like, you know, like shouting, yelling, like it was. So and funny. there was that one deluded person called Ty. Like he's just basically, he'll find a reason for anything, find an excuse for anything. He's different. He's different. Yeah, and he'll just believe in them to win somehow. Yeah, yeah. What what was the excuse the one time with the? the, It was raining, so like. Yeah, he's he's like you. You got to remember, it was raining. It was tough for the players. (laughs) (laughs) And I think they lost to Watford that day or whatever. Yeah, and then uh, Robbie only raining for Arsenal. Yeah, exactly. Robbie, Robbie, the guy who hosts it, was like, it was raining for both teams. It it doesn't matter. (laughs) But they got a documentary coming out. On this past season, so okay. Amazon Prime are doing a documentary. Was it? What's that called? They do like um, it's all like Drive to Survive, but for football, yeah, isn't all it? or nothing. Like okay, yeah. So that's that'll be a good watch. There's that'd one that um, Josh and I are going to watch on Apple TV. I think it's called it's called Football's Coming Out. It's about like how oh. like strange it is that there's no really no openly the gay Premier League footballers. Does that one was it guy? recently? Yeah, that's yeah. He wasn't Premier. He was to League One. Yeah, it was a lower league team, but it's still um, like weird Big, like yeah. you're talking like thousands of players thousands of professional football players in the uk and there's like one that's come out so yeah. like clearly there's something funny going on here you know so yeah i guess i'll explore like why that is and you know what's going on and why why if it can happen in rugby and it can happen in women's support why, why women's sport sorry why can't it happen in premier league football you know yeah i do know that was a apple tv yeah. thought it might be bbc or something but yeah that'll be a good watch as well yeah i think so me and Hamish actually went to a game last night. Yeah. Went to Argentina, Italy at Wembley. Really? How was it? Like, it was good. It was good. It was quite a good one. How are they right now? Because I always think of both of them as being like really top international teams. Argentina were good. Italy, Italy haven't even qualified for the World Cup this year. Are you serious? But you, was... you could see why. <laughs> you could see why. How did they beat us? Like, that's quite annoying. Yeah, because like... the game was the finalissima, which is the winner of the Euros plays the winner of the Copa America. Hmm. And then they win a trophy afterwards. But yeah, I still think Italy are a good team, but I don't know why they didn't, how they didn't qualify. I don't know if they were in a tough group or mm. something like that. But we saw, we saw Messi, who put on a bit of a show. Did he? Second greatest player of all time. But I heard he's not playing very well in general at the moment. No, not, not for his club team, PSG. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah only like, well, he didn't do as well as you'd expect yeah. from him. Messi took a, like a head injury in the game and Aaron was like, Oh, but is, oh, if he's not going to score, at least we're going to say we saw that we were there for Messi's loss. <laughs> no, no, I cracked the joke. Like, I don't wish injury on, like, any player, obviously. Yeah, yeah. I'd hope so, Aaron. But, like, I was like, imagine if that was his last game of his career because yeah. he, got, like, got injured and couldn't play. How old is he? Like, is he, like, is he 30? Is he like, similar to Ronaldo, isn't he? 30, is he like five? He's, he's, like, a couple years. So Ronaldo's 37, turning 38, I think. 
and Messi's like a couple of years younger. It's like you think he's Ronaldo is still going to be playing when he's forty? Like he's just still. It's possible. Ooh, I, maybe I, I maybe not be, like in the full ninety minutes, but wasn't Drogba playing until he was like forty-one? I thought he was quite old. Did he not move to MLS or was that buggy? Yeah, he went to America. I think he retired and came back for a bit as well. Maybe I'm pretty sure. I remember oh. thinking like, like he was like really like, and he didn't look it either. He did, definitely didn't play like yeah. it. I do. I do get like probably get those athletes who are like they do it for so long and then they retire and they're doing nothing and they're like, oh god, okay, yeah, what do I do now? And they're like, okay, I'll come back. Yeah. Or go into like management or something like that, you know. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah enough, uh, enough football talk. Yeah, not one of my standard topics, to be honest. <laughs> what, uh, what, what, what would you like to talk about first? I think the first one I wanted to talk about was just a bit about like my job because I think it's kind of, I think it's quite fun to wow. talk about. So I started a new job four or five months ago, and it's it's kind of an interesting one. I always get like a, a funny look whenever I say what I do. But I, I work in women's health for a pharmaceutical company. So we I'm part of the marketing department. So we basically like market mostly contraception, but it's like any products geared towards women really. So like HRT for menopause, for example, more specific sort of issues like endometriosis, like really anything to do with the female reproductive system, as well as a few other things as well. But that's what I do, which is obviously kind of a, a funny, <laughs> a funny role to have given my demographic. But I, I worked in vaccines a lot before, and so it was kind of like a nice transition. It's like big public health yeah. things as opposed to like something really specific. But it's, it's a lot of fun. I used to work in a bit of oncology as well, which is kind of depressing. <laughs> like, so we'd have like a product for like a I don't know a, a specific type of cancer, and there'd be another version. And we'd be like banging the drum for ours because it'll like give people two months longer or something like that. But then like you can't eat food and it's like, it's just kind of miserable. Mm. Whereas like vaccines and definitely women's health, like reproductive health is a lot more like positive. Yeah. And the company I work for now is, is a weird one. It's like, it's spun off from MSD or, or Merck, like quite a big pharma company. So it's 10,000 people, but it's less than a year old, which is like really like a really weird environment to be in. But yeah, they just focus primarily on women's health. So ten thousand people in less than a year. Yep. Company birthday tomorrow, I think. Oh shit! Happy so, birthday. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At the time of recording, it is second of June. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, who knows when this will be out? But yeah, no, it's like, it's a really nice, important area to work in as well. Later this year, I'm kind of interested to see what happens with this, but. The government are going to publish like a women's health strategy around about summertime. And so we'll probably see quite a bit in the news about that. And I'm just interested in what it's going to say, because I suspect that it's mostly going to be the government saying, look, at all this amazing stuff that we're doing for women, <laughs> patting themselves on the back when really it's just like a PDF saying this stuff is important. But I still think it'll be interesting. Wait, when's that? Like when? summer, summer 2022. Okay. Yeah. Should we hold on to this episode? Hey, Mr. Release it. <laughs> You know we what? Matt, Matt, right on the peak of the controversy. We've kept Matt waiting long enough. Though, it's not going to be. It's not going to be a controversy. I hope it won't. Like it'll be so so typical of something so important like that to be overshadowed by like just ridiculous government misbehavior or whatever. You know, I'm not even. I'm not even being funny. They probably will time it like in a way that like sort of I don't know distracts from something else. Yeah. Remember when the party stuff came out and then oh that guy's lockdowns up. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's so funny that like. The biggest scandal that the government's had is around like having a party, whereas like others, it was like big stuff like Iraq or you know yeah. Brexit or whatever. Wow. Just um... I was telling like something on like you know the stupidity of these like yeah, they're like they were doing this on the ground floor as well. Obviously, there were people inside taking pictures, but people, they were like on the ground floor without even closing blinds or yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so people could just take pictures. I'm like. There, there's a certain level of cheek here you have to have yeah. you're saying at least get at least get fifth floor I reckon yeah. like, the, the thrill of it was probably what made it kind of more yeah. fun <laughs> it's like, you know but yeah anyway on women's health mm. so did you know like much about the area before you joined kind of like I so I used to work on the HPV vaccine which is the most common STI in the UK okay so watch out guys <laughs> <laughs> actually watch out everyone it's like you can't see it in it's like kind of asymptomatic in men so like males could be like passing it around then it, it becomes a problem really for women because it causes cervical cancer it's like the main reason that cervical cancer is a thing so uh, i don't know if you guys remember when we were at school like all the girls got that jab at about 12 13 that was for H aaron, aaron went to aaron didn't go to a mixed school 
Oh, oh yeah, and I, I went all boys. Yeah, I didn't know that. Oh, so I was a bit confused. I was like, wait, what? Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so I, I worked on that vaccine for like a couple of years, and obviously it's linked. Like it's an STI, and that's kind of like linked to that. And then like somebody I worked, one of my clients I worked with on that, like joined this organization, and the role came up, and I just I messaged them about it. So yeah, it's been good. I actually like I had a look yesterday or the other day because uh, about what I'm actually allowed to say because okay, <laughs> yeah. like there's actually really strict laws in the UK about what you can and can't say about like medicine and things, especially like to the public. And obviously, because this is going on, like, I think it's, this is going on Spotify and YouTube, right? Spotify, YouTube, Google Play, yeah, so Google like, Podcasts. You know, with all the thousands podcast. of listeners that, like, tune into my episode. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> when, when, we, when we jump on that, if we, if we manage to hit the time where they release the thing and it, we just sur- surface and then he's going to be saying, oh, we have to remove this bit of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know, we've done, we done that job. <laughs> yeah. But I think I've nailed it. I don't think I said anything <laughs> wrong just then. Right. What's, what's, like, some stuff, like, obviously, like, I'm less familiar with women's health. What's like some important stuff like everyone should probably like know? I think the the main thing is is access and like so there are communities even in the UK where people either don't know or can't get to a doctor to have a conversation about what's best for them. Uh, I mean, you know, even I mean the the UK aside, obviously elsewhere in the world, it's, it can be far far worse. But even in this country. Um, the vast majority of men and women, um, but in this instance, that it's more important for women. They just they they're not educated really on what the right questions to ask are. I don't know about you guys, but like at school, we had like a, a like a a talk about like condoms and stuff. But nobody. I had a one of my teachers when I was doing biology. She was like, "This isn't on syllabus, but I'm going to show you anyway." And she just went through all the options like available, and that wasn't compulsory i don't know if it is now i hope it what like be. age was i that? think it is now but not when we were in school i was 15 when she did that okay and then but like i think i was 13 when they did the whole condom on a banana thing you know but yeah i don't remember like having any of that stuff no like there in was secondary a, school no i remember a brief inset day where they like they did it but like it was just so brief like because i don't think at the time they they wanted to touch on it as much you know like it was yeah you can go on no just an example i actually want to show you guys something so like <laughs> I'm gonna show you something and like um just mm, yeah. talk about yourself. So just uh, I thought he's gonna pull out like a I was like banana <laughs> video. <laughs> 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 I want to show you. Uh, I'll I'll say what it is after you've had a look. But okay, do you, yeah. either of you guys know what this is that I'm showing to you on this leaflet? Is that the thing that they've put inside the lady when they would want to avoid contraception? Avoid pregnancy? Yeah. 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 yeah no, but like, do you know what it's called? Oh, I'm not gonna lie. That looks like a pogo stick. It does, doesn't it? It looks kind of scary. It, 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 like, it, it, I, it looks like I wouldn't want to be in that situation like no. if you were to ever decide to do that. Yeah, like, well, it's so it looks kind of like a hook. It's, it's the yeah. coil. Like mm-hmm. it's one of the um, like longer term choices mm-hmm. that are available. So like it gets inserted into the yeah. room. I think I've heard coil. Yeah, yeah. But like, I mean, yeah. you watch Suits because in Suits, they actually gave an example with one yeah, character. Maybe. Is it yeah, the TV show Suits? One of the characters, I don't want to spoil it for anyone who's not seen it, but one of the characters actually decided to get this and then they got it removed because of the right, relationship. Yeah. But they they had that because they didn't want to get pregnancy. I mean, I, I guess I hope that I would, but if I hadn't uh, been told by that teacher when I was 15, I probably mm. wouldn't have known about that for years. And I didn't know like, about this in school. Yeah, that's... No. Like, yeah. But there's so much that we're just not um, told about and like very few people have like parents that will like proactively have that conversation as well. And again, it's not just condoms and pills. Like, Especially if you're brown, let me tell you that. <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> <laughs> These are... Uh... I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm not taking a piss or anything, but like these also look like, you know, when you go to the gym and you're on like the machine thing. <laughs> That's they, they, they do, and they look, you know, change, I know, like I know the, you're talking about. You change the like handle bit. Hot take from Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> Aaron, you're saying more and more soft these days, I get, I'm risk you getting cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> That's not that bad. I'm sure you said worse. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, like, so I, I guess the important thing is like, I, I, I hope, I certainly hope that I can do this one day is like, just talk to your kids about what this stuff is. And like, actually, you know, don't, let's not be weird about it. It's like a, a normal thing that like should be acknowledged and spoken about. And it's so much more than like contraception as well. It's a, about like controlling your body and just being like safe and protected. And as well, like with what's happened in America with the Supreme Court or what might happen, not to get too controversial, they're basically going to, they're making a change in the law where it's now not compulsory for every single state to offer access to abortion. I think they're called like trigger laws or something. They've written a piece of law that says as soon as that like parent, like countrywide law goes away, 
then it just switches and abortion's no longer or, or access to like you know termination is no longer a thing in those states so like just overnight bam it's gone after being having been available for years and i guess the point i'm trying to make is that like for those people in particular who now don't have a choice like just conversations and understanding of what what's available to them is just so so important Mm -hmm. but yeah i've seen a specific argument on it and i agree with this line like basically men should not be making the choice for the yeah woman's thing especially when if this abortion is most likely because a man fucked up or like they did something that they you know something bad well especially like in more sinister cases as well like it's horrible and i would just like yeah it's it's I, I guess I kind of it feels odd, like three guys yeah. talking about yeah, this. No, that, I know, like, exactly, there are, yeah, there's no like women. It, ultimately, yeah, that's why like we yeah. shouldn't be the ones saying the law, right? Like that's why. Yeah. Yeah. But also, like ultimately, like statistically, like you can't argue with this. When the option is there, it's just a better outcome for all of society. It just in terms of you know being able to go to work, like being even just even if we take all emotion out of it, like productivity and like um, it just just increases when that option is available. So, you know, why is it? <laughs> you cut down trauma and everything for like many lives involved. So, yeah. When yeah. I say many lives, like a potential life, et cetera, and the lives that that one would be affected by. And yeah. It's yeah. basically an unnecessary chain that can be removed when removes like kind of a harsh word, but you know, like can be sorted out without, I don't know the correct word, but can be dealt with beforehand yeah. if, if they had the choice to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a, it's kind of a, it's just scary, but there you go. But anyway, to, to answer your question, Aaron, <laughs> to answer your question, what's important? I just think education and, and learning and just, yeah, education about what's available and also about where to go. Because like I said, there are, there are lots of people that just don't, don't have the support from families or from teachers to know what steps to take. And yeah, it'd be nice if, uh, if they could just do something on their own without needing input from um, another, support, uh, another support level. So. Yeah, and if if um if you have like any links or resources or anything, we can put them into the yeah. I actually like, would, show notes. I actually think that would be quite cool. Just yeah. like just like a couple like websites. There's like there's a few quite cool different websites that you can look at just to see what all the options are. And then like there's obviously the NHS site where you can book an appointment and things like that. And yeah, yeah, that'd be good. Check that out if anyone's interested. Was there um anything else on like women's health before that you just wanted to like mention or get out? I think I've sort of said the main thing. I think, like I said, it is funny being a, a guy in this job, like, but because like I'm surrounded by like by women at work. Because like, is, is it like, like most certain, is dominated? Like, it's mostly yeah, mostly dominated. because like well, I work in marketing, where it is it is more women in that area. But like obviously, like any company, the legal department, finance department, you know, other, just other departments that are pretty similar across all companies. It's like it's fifty fifty. It's the same, you know. But like in marketing, in the nursing side, there are more women because there's you know a higher interest there, and it's it's something that sort of is much closer to home. But I think I personally, I guess I would say this: <laughs> they are, are keen for it to be like it's yes, it's women's health, but it's important to like show the support across the board, even if you're not you know female. So yeah, I would just say watch out for that <laughs> government report, see if they time it. <laughs> like, oh, watch this like, space. Partygate 2.0 or whatever yeah. the next scandal is. Like, hey, look I'm, at this. I'm sure know. there's something coming out. Don't worry. Yeah, there'll be no shortage. Yeah, but uh, no, I, I just, I just say, like, I'm sure, like, you know, I guess I'd like to think that um, people of our age group would do this more often anyway. But like, when, if you have kids, talk to them about this stuff. You know, it's quite cool. It's, it's, it can save a lot of like difficult, uh, uncomfortable health issues later down the line. So, what, what age do you think you're talking to your kids about? It? I saw that smile and I knew you were uh, I think right I think, at the beginning of secondary school I feel like that's I think 12 yeah. yeah I think, I think secondary 12, school 12, 13 before as puberty is starting I think roughly around that age yeah and and that's just the reason for that is I think the idea of them getting used to it in their head even though it might be a couple of years away before they start like looking at contraception I think it's that's a good age to start yeah. I don't see why not yeah. yeah speaking of women oh god I don't like this transition. <laughs> I can see the twitch in his eye. I don't like, like that transition. <laughs> I like he, knew, he knows he's screwed off. <laughs> he's just looking at me. I'm like, well, no, there's many ways I can go here. Could, I could go speaking of women, Amber Heard. Speaking of women, the queen. Today is a Diamond Jubilee, if you want to touch on it. I don't care personally for Diamond Jubilee, but. Well, you are not working right now, Hamish. So. Oh, wait. Can I, oh, yeah, I forgot to say, like, I appreciate the public holiday. Like, you know, I appreciate. Wait, is it Diamond Jubilee or Platinum? Platinum. Is it Platinum? Yeah, Sorry, yeah, I got it wrong. 
Yeah. That's how much you don't care about it. <laughs> yeah, that's how much I don't care. It's not treason. <laughs> You're fine. It's, yeah. yeah, but I'm browsing. That's the different rules. Of <laughs> no, I'm I'm yeah, but today is basically a 95th birthday. I thought it was in May. For some reason, I thought her birthday was in May. But today is her 95th birthday. I don't think it's her birthday. Why did they say that on BBC today when I was watching the thing? Did they not just say I her age? They was... said it was her 95th birthday today. I thought her birthday was like two weeks ago. That's what I thought, yeah. Then on the, on the, you, yeah. my dad, and my mom was like to me, "Why did you say?" No, she, she has two birthdays. I know about. I know that. I thought it was seventy years on the throne today. Oh, so I, why yeah, did yeah, say ninety-five years. Um, she's ninety-five years old. That's what they said on BBC. I was like, "What the fuck is this?" Queen, yeah. Queen which birthday. is like it means when she got to the throne, she was younger than us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, how weird is that? Oh, unless they're counting. When they said ninety, they said she was ninety-five today oh. at the time of recording. Yeah, that, which is why I was hella confused out because I only watched it briefly because it was just on the TV. I was like, I think she's 96. Wait, she's 96 as well, bro. Wait, what does it say, birthday? Yeah, 21st of April, 1926. Oh, yeah, yeah. Age 96. Oh, but she's old. Yeah, but I don't know where you got 95 from. That, they, bro, they said 95 on TV today. Like, I don't know what you want me to do. Like, of course she's old, man. Is it possible you weren't completely listening? When no, that no. Happened? I, I was basically ready to leave, yeah. yeah. So I was just like chilling and just watching on TV. My, my dad was in the other room watching TV and then my mom was there and she was like, the 95th birthday today. I'm like, and how you fifth? Like birthday today? I'm like, I didn't think she was a June baby. <laughs> like I'm pretty sure like I heard like, you know, I was used to like May for some reason or March. I don't know which one it was, but mm. maybe that's the second birthday I'm used to. Yeah. I watched a documentary on her last night when I got back from the football. Oh, yeah? And I was from Rome. Yeah, it's alright. I gave it on letterbox, I gave it a uh, three star. Nice. Three out of five. What's, was right. what was the documentary called? Elizabeth Windsor. Oh, okay. Yeah, just a name, plain and simple. Is there anything like you have to say about the the sorry the platinum jubilee? Like, is there anything of importance? Like, apart from the public holiday, which we appreciate. She was she was going to be my shout out, man. <laughs> shout out to Liz. Yeah, yeah seventy years, bro. That's that's a lot. That's a long time. Bro, her money's keeping her alive, fam. <laughs> yeah, like she's like the longest serving monarch there has ever been, as well. So it's quite a big deal. And also, it's Thursday right now, and we're not doing any work. Exactly. So, I can yeah. I can I can live with this. You know. Do you, either of you get like patriotic or anything? No, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I mean, she's not directly benefit. The only benefit she's giving me is that I get a public holiday today. Yeah, no, I, I remember we we watched the weddings a couple. Of, of yeah, weddings, but like that's just weddings. like you just you want were just to see pointing what out the suits actors, weren't you? <laughs> 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 I watched it, but like I wouldn't say like I was like I would say Aaron was more into me. I was just like you know like know a little bit of what's going on, you know, because I I feel like a bit of me is always curious. I need to know a little bit of what's going on everywhere, and then yeah. carry on my life. But I don't I don't care too much, you know. I don't need to spend eleven hours of my day watching this wedding. Where like, that's why I was invited. It's just like a public thing, you know. Like, yeah, of course you were invited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but do you know what I mean? Like, wh- wh- why do I give a shit about this wedding? Like, they they mean like nothing to me. Ultimate at the end of the day, right? I think I probably would care more if it hadn't been for all like the weird scandals mm-hmm. around like people like Prince Andrew. Yeah, and, yeah, 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 and yeah. You know what? Yeah, like maybe if I had like for some reason if they had done like some sort of community work on there, maybe I met them as a child. Maybe I'd be more like invested. But I have no connection to them because we were yeah. just grown up detached. Like from that reality, yeah. No, I, I sort of, I don't feel too dissimilar to you, Hamish. To be honest with you, yeah. I'm very happy to not be like, working today. Like I can understand, you know, someone had like met them as a kid, so like they feel like they have a little bit of attachment. But in yeah. my case, like it never happened, so I couldn't tell you. What's weird as well is like after she's gone in a couple of years, we're gonna have like some very old bloke, like every twenty years <laughs> or so. So like, so yeah. when she goes, like I maybe I don't know, a few more years from now, maybe. Charles would be like late seventies, I think. Yeah, he so would be old. Old man. He's mm-hmm. probably going to live quite a long time. Then William's going to be an old man, and then <laughs> his son is probably going to be quite old as well. So it's like mm-hmm. we have this thing where because everybody lives a long time now, uh, like the monarch is always going to be somebody who should have retired years ago. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like it's just never going to be somebody really. Who yeah, I do kind of want to experience. You know, like back in the day when it had like an eight-year-old king. You want to live in a world with a boy king? <laughs> yeah, I just want to. I'd, no, this is, it's one of those things where, like, same with, like, the Super League and some other stuff, so, yeah. I want to see what it's like and then yeah. rewind if I don't like it. Yeah, yeah. I, Do think, what I mean? Uh, I just want to, I want to, like... Aaron wants to be Dr. Strange. Dr. Strange, kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, like, like, the Super League I just want to see thing, what it's like. Like, I get that because, like, you know, you love football. Maybe it'll produce some great football. But what I don't quite get is why you want to see a world with a boy king. <laughs> like, I just, just want to see if it, like, of that? goes to shit. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I just want to, I just want to, like... Yeah, but Aaron, would it, it could it could I'm super go to shit for you as well. Yeah, but I'm just I'm just like intrigued by it. Like, ooh, what what if? Aaron, turn your phone notification. You're not. <laughs> what if what if he does like a banners? How um, do you feel, um, Aaron? How do you feel about the royal family? I'm like, I don't dislike them. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's that's <laughs> most my kind of opinion. Is that your hot take? I think I th- I'm more I'm more like you're than more dislike. Like than, than, like, dislike yeah. I'm more like than dislike. Yeah. The I reason just think I saw like, the last yeah. row wedding was because it was on his screen in the computer science building back at Warwick because yeah, we, we were like we can't. You I, know, just like like a a I just like a wedding. Right, he was just watching it on the screen. Yeah, so that's the main reason I saw that wedding. Was the Meghan Markle wedding? Yeah, at uni. uni. Yeah, it might have been in our Did masters. You do a maybe. Year? Yeah, because I, I was been, like, I, I don't, oh God, that's weird. I thought that feels way more recent than like years yeah, ago. Yeah, it was. Oh, wait, it was, was at it uni. Kate, when was Kate Middleton? Actually? No, no, it was, I think we were all at school. Kate Middleton was a secondary school. I was sixteen, okay. I think, when yeah. that happened. I think the Crown's a cool TV series. <laughs> that's if it was abolished, my kind of reaction would be like, oh, that's a shame. Like, yeah. I'd, I, yeah, and that, then, but I'd move on. Like, it's kind of like that. It'll be interesting if it does, like, because obviously, I think most people kind of like the Queen, like, 70 years. This person's incredible. Like, she's been in that position for all that time with no, like, real scandals. Not that that's a measure of what, like, a leadership is. Scandals that we know of. (laughs) Yeah, that we know of. Yeah, yeah. So, like, when when she goes, I'm interested if, like, the support goes, like, a lot lower. Because I I think it probably will. You know what's crazy? People, like, went in person to, like, Buckingham Palace and they, like, crowded up and everything. I'm like, fam, you know how much inconvenience your day is? is just for <laughs> somewhere you're going to be nowhere near. You're not going to be able to see properly. If I watch, if you watch it on TV, you probably have a better shot. I want to go back in Palace, though. Have you not been? No. Nah. Oh, that's I, the thing. I, think, like, I want to you, check it out. You've lived in London your whole life. Like, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that, I feel that way about a lot of things in London. Like, yeah. I, I just haven't done so much. When you get your knighthood or your MBE, if you want to. No, you can, like, book, like, tour visits. Oh, you can? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to do it. Maybe when, when you do that. When you do that, actually, let me know. I may be down for that. I don't know if I want to go around with you, man. You were just like, <laughs> why? <laughs> I don't know. Right, fair enough. <laughs> I feel like you would just like call out stuff. Or you'd just be trash talking. <laughs> I'd get arrested, taken out. Like, oh, I'm trying to say, I'm a liability. <laughs> From one queen to another, do not call Amber Heard a queen. Is she, is she not the queen in like? Oh, in Aquaman. She, I'm She's... not. I'm not paying to watch that movie. So like, they're best remover. Have you? Why? 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 Because they're basically, I mean, did you see the verdict and everything? I did, yeah. All right. Okay, you're going to have to, I don't really know All right, so basically, much at all. Many years ago, Amber Heard and Johnny Depp divorced. The, I'm only going to go the very short story. Mm. She basically then faked, well, allegedly faked in case if somehow backfires on it, and it comes back on me. So allegedly faked domestic violence thing, and then basically blew up. It basically ended Johnny Depp's career, and then it went, went to... Did it end his career though? Well, he lost yeah. like Pirates of the Caribbean and those Harry Potter films. Yeah. The um, Fantastic Beast. He, he could have lost those Harry Potter films. No, no, the Fantastic Beast one. I feel like it needed a Johnny Depp thing. I've seen the new. No, nah, he, he could have done without him. To be honest, no, no, he he did. Yeah, he could have done without them. But like, I feel like I didn't know it was Johnny Depp acting in that. But I was like, yeah. you know what? Yeah, mm-hmm. that character that he was playing, it was different. Okay, yeah. but yeah, yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean is basically him. Yeah, so mean. I'm sure there's other gigs as well. But you know, like basically he lost out on that. Then he he basically sued the Sun for doing the first part of it, but he lost that case in the UK. Wait, the Sun. Yeah. yeah, the son. Uh, Why did the son get involved? The son published the son just... an article where they called him a wife beater. That was the phrase that he used, mm-hmm. that they used, sorry, in, yeah. in the paper. And he sued them, saying mm-hmm. that I never was. And that okay. was a huge case. I, I, when he lost that, I remember thinking, oh, so I guess mm-hmm. I, I didn't pay attention to that case. But uh, I, I believe like he was a wife beater at this point. Yeah. Not to say that he was, I assume that he retaliated at some point here, yeah, like during his relationship. There was probably some retaliation, but like it wasn't like as, you know, what. They made it out to be. It wasn't like Johnny Depp was going out of way to abuse her, especially after the audio clips and everything that started surfacing. Have you been following the whole thing? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I don't want to be one of those people. I, would, I don't know if this is a guilty pleasure about that. This could be a guilty. I watched it during my work day. I was watching it my work day all the way till 10 p.m. when it ended. So Amber Heard accused Johnny Depp of domestic violence. Yeah. But then didn't he like Uno reverse it at some point? Yeah, yeah, but like that's in trial. It comes out in trial. It doesn't come out before. Yeah, she she wrote oh. an article for this paper. I can't remember which. Maybe Huffington Post or something. I spoke out. Yes, yeah. she said some, something like that, and then his thing was he was claiming that he didn't do it, and that's what the whole case <laughs> has been about. He sued her for defamation. Yeah. Uh, one thing we must add here, like I'll still believe anyone who's a domestic, anyone who claims to be a domestic violence victim. It's just in Amber Heard's case, she doubled down on basically this situation where she falsified. She basically perjured herself, and I'm sure there's going to be some backlash on that coming soon. But wasn't didn't Johnny Depp accuse Amber Heard of being domestic? Yeah, yeah, right? but it happened in this trial and all those clips and stuff. Wait, the trial in the like last month? Yeah, bro, it's been like six weeks. I thought I heard this like a year ago. It could have been, but like no one really paid attention to that, you know. Okay. Like, and then all the audio clips and everything that came out, how he lost the tip of his finger. Basically, like she got all her friends moving into the penthouse next to him. She made made him cut off all of his friends, but essentially out of his life. So people like you know, like he's like fifty something. Yeah, people that like, were friends were like forty years. Ended up getting cut out of his life. They had no idea why he got. He be, he had no way to turn to, so he became a dick. 
an addict, sorry. And then one of the team that were basically like Amber's team was like embezzling money. Like he was basically just in a loop of um, addiction, cocaine, MDA, MDMA, whatever you want. Pretty much whatever you could think of, like Joey Depp did it by that time. And yeah, she used to abuse him. He tried to run away, but then she kind of like tried not to let him run away. She tried to fake some police reports. She got some fake ass experts on the fucking stand mm. to testify. So all of her experts were basically being paid to be there by her. Whereas I think Johnny Depp's, most of them weren't even being paid by Johnny Depp to be there. They were just generally being a witness. Yeah. And when you saw some of the witnesses that she brought, like, I don't know if you remember the psychiatrist. I didn't follow it that much. I did watch a couple of things. There was a, I don't remember her name now, but I, there was somebody who spoke for a while about like, about what, uh, Amber Heard's got bipolar or something. Yeah, that was the, so that was Johnny Depp's psychologist, psychiatrist, whatever it is. And she like did a proper like evaluation of Johnny Depp and she also did one on Amber Heard at the time. Mm. Then Amber Heard got like some paid one to basically try to discredit her and do some fake ass reports. You're like, like even like you could just look at the paperwork that was done yeah, and you could look at the they put the instructions up and everything mm. she didn't follow the instructions this other person that did it and then because mm. she tried to prove Dr. Curry to so the Johnny Depp's one incorrect but then when she came back yeah, and also further disproved it and then there's this guy called the anti-wizard by, by, on the internet right now basically there's anti-wizard yeah basically one of Johnny Depp's stories Johnny Depp's legal team was on crud like they were, they were a different. They were like some of the best lawyers in the US, basically. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, there was this one. One of them was called the Anti Wizard. He's known as the Anti Wizard on the internet now. Yeah. So, anytime there's a like a expert in quotation marks, yeah, like coming up on Amber's side, yeah, you, they send him up here. So what he do? He'd smirk. He'd do like a bobblehead mo- movement, go up, and then he'd either object <laughs> or he ask a question. Yeah, which basically made the person look just so stupid. Because he would like just discredit them in so many different ways. Yeah. He was like a full on shit re- lawyer, but it was so funny to watch. Yeah, because. I couldn't watch some of like the testimonies by like some of Amber Heard's side, but when I watched when he, when he came back when it came back, you know, the cross examination. Yeah. I was all for it when that guy was on it because that guy was just one of the funniest motherfuckers. I don't think he tried to be funny. He just made them look stupid, but it was just so funny how he did it. You know, I read the thing came out this morning. I read at the same time that uh this case has had far more interest mm-hmm. in among Americans than Ukraine. Or the Supreme oh, yeah. Court abortion thing. <laughs> like, yeah. People love watching like celebrities, like yeah, it's like showbiz, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. their dirty laundry. Yeah. But like she, the thing that so ultimately Amber Heard messed up. Yeah, is like for actual like domestic violence victims. Yeah, like for others. Yeah, like that may not be like us forgetting like maybe us lot. Like because we'll probably still believe other people first, but others may not believe them first now because of what Amber Heard's trying to do. And then she had a statement prepared by a public, like a public. What do you call it though? publicist team whatever. yeah publicist yeah she had a statement so the like i think as they were going to the verdict yeah like that statement came up here yeah, like pretty much like they probably knew what she was gonna lose right yeah and i was basically saying like i spoke on i don't want this to set precedents for domestic violence victims i'm like like basically still saying that she was the victim when clearly she was like some messed up woman she was basically evil and but it was evidence that overwhelming like bro, against her so overwhelming like every single point that johnny depp was suing her for got like Yes, by the there jury. There was one thing, wasn't there? I feel like I saw something like of the main three points mm-hmm. that they were debating. She did actually win on one of them. Yeah, that was her case against, I believe, Johnny for defamation when when his lawyer at the time, they deemed as agent because that's how they were, they were suing one of the agent contacts. Mm. So that guy, when he made his statement that it's all a hoax yeah, and he couldn't prove it, and he tried to like, he tried whatever he could at the time, whatever, but he tried to prove it, but he just made a statement and he made an article on it or whatever. Like mm-hmm. he got an article done on it and stuff, and then that's the statement they sued him for, and that kind of defamation. So that's how she won money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Johnny Depp won like forty million or something, and she got like two million. No, Johnny Depp won a total of fifteen million, and she won a total of two million. Okay, across well, well the well cases, off. yeah. So that's like but she she probably doesn't have the money, so she would probably have to declare bankruptcy because like most she of has them, two million, surely she has to pay Johnny Depp fifteen million or well thirty. Oh, million. 15, okay, and she most of oh, the yeah, money yeah, was from, she like she also. She was meant to pay her seven million divorce settlement to charity. Yeah. But she didn't pay it. Even that Elon Musk bad. paid 250k on a half and Johnny Depp paid 250k on a half. That was, I remember, I did, I did watch that clip. No reason particularly <laughs> I watched that one, but uh, she was like, I pledged I the pledged, money to the I donated to, it. It's the same word. No, it's then, not. Yeah, the lawyer was like, <laughs> Did you pay it? <laughs> I, said, no. I pledged it. Like, yeah. I pl- and she, she was saying that it's because of the lawsuit, but the lawsuit happened one year after the yeah. payment was supposed to happen. So, yeah. Yeah, she fully fucked it. What's the, you know, there's the clip of like, there's a meme of her crying. She was doing her, this is, the, people <laughs> people call it her best performance of her life because this is her ultimate chance to like prove herself. Yeah? So she had to mm-hmm. be understand and she had to give her side or, you know, she had to give her testimony. And then she was like doing a crying and then 
but she wasn't like crying or like whatever, whatever it was, there was some twisted logic, whatever her publicist team, whatever the lawyer told her. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they knew it was Ropia. They took her off the stand early because where she was getting ripped apart on the strand. Like she was giving away too much information whenever the cross examination was happening. There was that thing as well, like where I think there was a point in the case where she mentioned Kate Moss and I don't fully understand it, but like oh, that yeah. meant that they could then call. No. Kate so Moss Kate time. Moss wasn't going to come on at all, basically, because like she was an ex of Johnny Depp. Mm. But like, well, there was a mark on her back, apparently. And then she was saying like, oh, even you could see the mark on her back on this picture. Yeah, it was proof of domestic violence, how Johnny Depp is here. Yeah. And Kate Moss apparently is very private, never comes out to speak or anything, even if she wasn't going to come to it. Mm. And then basically, after Amber Heard went on a rampage with that one as another point, yeah, like she was like, they brought her on. She had the shortest testimony. Like she, was, like, nah, she was online on the testimony in the video. Yeah, it was about like five minutes, probably. Because what are they going to cross examine her? She's like, no, he did not abuse me once here. Yeah. Like none of this. I'm like, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it, was, it was just like hell in it because like now the ex has one of the exes has confirmed everyone that's been around Johnny even her people say that the bruises appeared out of nowhere they've never seen him like be a like thing like you know like abusive like he's always tried to escape so like it's a, it was a big L it was a big L coming maybe there's some highlights that are probably worth watching but I wouldn't watch the full thing because Saturn one of the experts are like will, will probably piss you off mm. it was a good thing to watch when you don't like your job so <laughs> so, is, so is it over now? So, yeah, so. yeah, the verdict was yesterday, literally. I heard, actually, I heard on news stage about something about like her appealing. I don't know if you can appeal like civil case. Like, I don't know, but like, I don't know. I don't know the legality. She yet. might want to like just end it and try to move on. Like, yeah. her, you, her career's over now. Like, she's so is she being kicked out of like, well, Aquaman? And, no, so. but she they already reduced her role. But like, she even still had a contract on hold with L'Oreal and stuff. Like, she had it extended, but she wasn't being used. I, I don't think her career's over. You don't. I think she's more famous now than she should have been. Yeah. Do you think his career is going to come back? No. Maybe, but they have to find I think it. he's also... The, the issue with Johnny popular. Depp's one here yeah, is man. that basically he doesn't want to work with Disney again after the Disney dropped him falsely. But Disney is one of the people that can afford to pay Johnny Depp's salary. So do like, you think, what Disney's supposed to do if he's accused of like domestic yeah, violence? Like, they got to drop him. Do you know what I mean? But even like, when it's turned on Amber, like you don't really see them... like not, not Disney's not involved here, but Warner Bros. Like, haven't fully pulled her out back or something. Like, until further. Yeah, but like... Johnny Depp's basically like a hundred million in debt, so like he's got to start. He's probably not going to take the money from Amber anyways, but like he probably needs to get a job. Or he could give it to the charity that why, why, she why, was going to. Why would he not take the money? Because it wasn't about the money for Johnny Depp. Like ultimately, he had to clear his name because as a man, once he was given that charge many years ago, there's nothing he could do. There's no job he could get as an actor because no one would go to watch. Would you it, take like, the money? As what, well. bro? You can't. You just have to clear your name, and then he can make more money. He can. What's not taking the money going to do? He could give it to it would have been help your charity or to to pay him. off his debts because he's like massively in debt due to the embezzlement and everything that happened. So ultimately, for now, as long as Johnny Depp has some good job offers, hopefully, but like I won't go watch Aquaman in cinema if Amber is still going to be in there. Or would you watch it illegally? Not internet. <laughs> I, I, I watch it as long as they don't get money for me watching it. It's fine because if you're going to keep Amber Heard in it, especially like especially they probably knew at a point yeah like that this is that and then they kept her in so. Even though they reduced her role, like it's like, why would I? That whole story made me feel quite happy with my life. <laughs> like <laughs> it turns out, being yeah. like super rich and famous is not like you not know, always good. Yeah, obviously they're so like they must, must so be like deeply unhappy, like to treat themselves and each other like that. Like yeah. you don't do that if you're a happy person. I don't think. Yeah, it's yeah. like so many of Amber's witnesses came out there on spite all because Amber Hill like paid them to be there. Like, mm. like you could tell that some people have spite towards when you like. They were all like claiming, oh yeah, like she had these bruises, but they've never seen them hit. They've never is that not if she paid them to be there? Isn't that like a you have to prove that? Thing but in they, itself. they weren't trying to investigate it. They were just trying to clear Johnny's name. That mm-hmm. was the goal of this. So there's no kind of like do you know Johnny Depp was performing something about Royal Albert Hall I like the day that. before his verdict or something. He was playing with Beck, I think, or with John Beck or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, also, why was the case in London? Is was it in London? No, the case was in Virginia, where it oh. yeah. the event took place. He must have flown over here or something like that. But yeah. Fair enough. Do you know the name of the charity that she was going to donate? ACLU. One of them is actually trying. That person, they're trying to like claim money back from Johnny Depp or something. So these lot of scumbags, they turn into scumbags. It's not a good charity. The charity is not a good. No. So basically, I don't. Well, the other one was like a children's hospital, like a dying children's hospital. Yeah. And the ACLU basically, they I don't know like if they had some like other agenda, but they were basically like until they had proven like you know that they had money, like they're still happy to get the donation. But there was some other stuff that came out about them, like. Yeah. And the way they're trying to they're trying to only sue Johnny Depp for the money apparently around this case or something. It's and not a charity, it's just set up by Amber Heard. Ba- no, it's not set up by Amber Heard. It's like it was long standing an American thing or whatever. It's to help people, but basically apparently along the way somewhere it got corrupted. 
like well before this case. I don't I don't know the full story on it, so I'm not gonna say it because I don't want to get yeah. sued. I was gonna say put links in the description, but <laughs> is, it, is it is it not one name? I I, I don't know if we're taking enough risks this episode. <laughs> okay. Should we uh take a few less risks and play a game? Yeah. Yes. yeah. Not talk so, about game, yeah. let's play a game. <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm the wrong person to talk to about games. So, uh, there will be a verdict, but it will be a much safer verdict. Yeah, I think this is a <laughs> this is this is a, it's not going to destroy my career, is it? So, I, I think this is me against you, Matt. Okay, so it's wax lyrical, right? Yep. So wax lyrical is basically I'm going to say like a word or a, or a phrase, and then you need to try just like sing a song to it or something. Whatever song that comes to your mind that has that word in it. Okay. And obviously, I probably likely won't know the song you sing, so I'll probably let it slide anyways. We we don't like me. You don't have to sing if you don't want it, but okay. Just know depends, that depends how you feel. Yeah. So when I obviously made this, obviously I put like a expected song that I would expect publicly known, kind of like it's yeah. like a. Do a you have like um maybe a word that you haven't chosen, but like just think of a word now, like just to like test. Yeah. Like a practice one. A practice one. Gloss or glasses. I'll allow plural. Glasses. Yeah. One of you will have to buzz in. Maybe I don't know. Oh, yeah. Or well, whoever sings first, to be honest. Like, I don't think it's going to be that much of an issue. <laughs> I can't <laughs> think of anything. Glasses! I'm oh, sorry, I was just looking at this and I was like, shit. <laughs> I'm sure there's, like, many, like... Well, I know there's uh, glass animals. Yeah, I was, I was thinking I'm that. I'm thinking, thinking of that, them, yeah. but I don't know if they say it in any of their songs. I love that band. Can oh, we raise, raise, raise. Does someone have raise? So, raise our glass. No, no. No, 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 no. If you can give me a song name as well so to verify, I don't know. Oh, sure. Raise, it's Taylor Swift, isn't it? So, are you sure it's oh, Taylor Swift? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a Lucas Graham one, like, and Razor. Yeah, I can't give you the, not, the song name, but I know that at some point she sings So Raise a Glass. No, no, no. It sounds about right, I won't like, but. Yeah, yeah, I feel like. I, uh, <laughs> that was shocking. Was fair, that was a practice right. one. That was a practice one. So, yeah. 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 All right. The first one is going to be a phrase. Oh, wait, do we, should we do like. Puzzle or should we just, like, whoever first starts singing, like, and it has to be like somewhat credible. Like, I have to hear like a proper line or something, you know. First one is an easy one. Thank you, thank you for the music, the songs I'm singing. Yeah, Thanks. that was that was the same one I was gonna. Okay, I, I was thinking. I, I thinking, thought yeah. your ABBA knowledge was like top tier now. After <sighs> you, you, yeah, years yeah. of knowing Anna, <laughs> you you were just quick on it. Yeah, I always think of what's the uh, Johnny English whenever I sing that song now. Is that, that Johnny English? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. When he's like, I think he's like on stage at the end, distracting the audience or something like that. You know? when, I, when I thought that, one, I thought, well, thank you, next bite. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the next one is today. Today is going to be the day I'm going to go back to you. Wonderful. Oh, oh, Bye now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was thinking what of that Bruno Mars song, the Bruno Mars song. Oh. Uh, today, I don't, I don't know. It's... Today, I don't feel like you. This one is arguably an easy one Umbrella. Under my, my umbrella, umbrella, Ella, 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 Ella. I don't know who else was. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> you know what? I'll leave the point out for that one. Oh. <laughs> just, just because it was so close and I can't bother doing VAR. Yeah. Next one. You may or may not know this. Fireflies. Oh, uh, it's Al- the million f- fire. F- oh, uh, Owl City. Yeah. Uh, you would not look in your eyes with 10 million fire. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that's it. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Shit, right. The... I'm, gl- I'm glad you brought this game like you. <laughs> I actually was. I listened to that song yesterday on radio on Spotify. I haven't listened to it in ages. You would not believe your eyes is. Yeah. yeah. All right. Another word. Dreams. Dreams can come true. Working, baby, man, baby, you. <laughs> no, you got ever. Do you have a song name for me, sir? Oh, I don't know. Dr- Dreams. Dreams is a song name. I think. I'm, yeah, I you know, know the song, right? I don't actually. You don't. I don't. Dreams I'm thinking of a Fleetwood Mac song. Dreams can come true. Look at me, baby. Um, I'm baby. We. I'll give you a, what I had in mind was like Wildest Streams by Taylor Swift. <laughs> People know. The, the the audience will know. Hang on. You're making my dreams come true. That's not the one. Oh, you make my dreams come yeah. true. Yeah. Okay, okay. So you verified it's true. You okay. Make my dreams. Yeah. That's not the same song. That was a different okay. song. Oh, okay, okay. Afraid. Oh. There's one big one that always comes on when I hear this word. This is why. Afraid. Do not be afraid. <laughs> Is that a real song? I am <laughs> really... No, that's a hymn. Oh, Does that count? It's, it's like a church I hymn. Think it counts. <laughs> a church hymn counts. It's, I, if it's on, do if not it's on be Spotify, afraid. Music, surely it counts. But I am really. I'm gonna say, I don't want to ruin my recommendations. <laughs> Call me by your name. I'll give you point five because I don't know about a church thing. I'll, t- I'll take point five. My man told 
Is it just he went to a Catholic school? <laughs> was it a Catholic school? I yeah, was thinking yeah. Not Afraid by Eminem. Brother, I, was, I was an auto boy for years, bro. But I don't know if Eminem is... Next word is shape. A shape of... Uh, I'm, I'm in love with, with the shape, shape of you. Push and pull with your bodies. Ed Sheeran shape oh, of you. I, I, I think... I'll give, I, you, I'll give I, you both a point for it. Okay. But I saw it, but I didn't... Did, yeah, yeah, I didn't really get it. I quite like this game. I didn't get the flow. To be honest, you're doing way better. I Wait, what's the score? Of... Save it till then. I was saying... Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll say I'll see you after. Yeah. Even if I gave you that four point, I don't think it'll make a difference. Hot. Trap it like it's hot. <laughs> like it's hot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think you get Sing it properly? Every lyric as well. And the kids didn't hear you drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> I don't know what the. What I've never heard you sing before until like today. It's, it's, it's something to do with pimps, and then, then it goes. Oh, is it? You drop okay. it like it's hot. Hmm. Next one is summer. Oh, oh uh. Summer of uh, 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 last forever, Brian Adams. Summer of '69. Oh shit! I was thinking, the summer okay, seemed yeah. to last forever. Those were the best days. Yeah, fair. Well, what were you thinking of? That was a 2002 pop- by Anne Marie. They play that song. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, good. yeah. Next one is good. Good mo- Kanye. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> shit! I was uh, I was not expecting you to go to a Kanye one. <laughs> Well, I had written "Good for You" by Selena Gomez. <laughs> I used to listen to his first three albums quite a bit. Did you watch his um Netflix thing? Even no, I didn't. That's good. That's good shit. Right, we we'll do this one as a final one. Mm. Mountain. Oh, uh, ain't no mountain high. Ain't oh. no valley. Yeah, that's the one. That's that was the best gonna... one. Yeah, yes. I was. Gonna, I was going to say. Um, Wait, was that worth? How many points is that worth? That last question. One, but I'll round up oh. your previous point to make you feel better. Okay, so the score difference is about one point now. Is it? Oh, wait, so it's not last one. Is the last one. No, this is the last one. No, 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 it's done. Oh, we're oh. done. Okay, what's the... Go on. Matt 6, Aaron 5. Yeah! Oh, he's 6. <laughs> oh, they he... like, he did, he did way better than... Yeah, the, the, um... Do people usually get less than that? Like... We haven't, maybe we haven't played that much. Oh, really? I think I was... A... Wait, no, wait. I think I've always been the host of this, have I? Oh, maybe, yeah. Yeah, maybe. I don't want to hear you sing a few songs, Hamish. <laughs> <That's laughs> <fun. laughs> the, um... Thing is, so we 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 never we play we play game quite a lot on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. And me and Hamish never won. And it, it used to be like a like we got we'll throw it sometimes, like to make sure that the uh, the guest wins. Yeah. Did you and, throw it then? No, no, I didn't throw I, it. Then. I tried to make on, it. I tried to cripple him, but it didn't work. <laughs> on the way, on the way, walking to your place here, we, I was, I was like, I think we should stop doing this. I think we should like actually try. It. Like, I was like, let me cook him. <laughs> I thought, I thought he would have because like I would know more songs he would know. Yeah, yeah. But then I'm thinking like, if I make a very generic word thing here, yeah, maybe, maybe you can pull it back with songs I don't know. I think, then. I think the practice round threw me off. You know. It threw me off a bit. Like, I wasn't ready for a practice run. I would have thought something better. Maybe a bottle or something. You could have had a better lyric as bottles or something. Mm-hmm. But you put me on the spot. I, I, if I had a practice question ready with a different story. Yeah. No, it was good. Yeah, more lighthearted now. So like, you recently watched Top Gun. Yeah, I did. And <laughs> I wanted to talk about movies at some point because I, I'm quite a big film fan. Um, yeah. When Gina did her podcast, I think there was a whole section on whatever films are current recently. Yeah, it was. we also talked about... um. School, I think in school, says he was like Marvel and cinema uh, and some stuff that. like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Top Gun. I haven't actually seen the original. I and I I'm, have, and it's I'm. Look, I get why people like it, but it's not like amazing. Like if you watch it now at, at our age, like decades after it was made, I reckon you'd probably be like, "This is a bit weird." Like this is. It wouldn't like resonate with you. It doesn't have like the same, like sort of thrill as it did in the past, especially if you just watch it on a TV. Yeah. But like what I do like about it is it's it's in the eighties and the flight scenes are incredible because they, they had no choice. They couldn't use CGI. Is this the is Tom this Cruise. the recent thing yeah. related to oh come the Maverick, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then Top Gun Maverick came out like last week or something, and it is it is just awesome. Like it is unbelievable. <laughs> like it's probably the most fun I've had in the cinema in so long. I just I I can't recommend it enough. I saw the trailer for it when I went yeah, to see yeah. Doctor Strange or something. Yeah. Like it played before the cinema started, before the film started. Mm. And I always, I just I always feel like those kind of things where like they have a film years ago and they bring it back. Yeah. It's just never that yeah. good. It's better. I than think the Death original. Race was a good example, but I think the Jason Staten one was better. Or the one I them. never saw the old one. Was that like I haven't seen the nineteen sixties ones or whatever, but I've mm. seen the two death races that most of us would have seen. Mm. Which are, which are both remake almost like one is meant to be a prequel of the other, but it's meant to be the remake. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, 
So what's so good about this new one? Just like it's just like, I, so I think the first trailer for it came out like over two years ago, uh, before the pandemic. Like so, it's been ready to release for a long time, but they held off on it just so they could have it like a full cinema release. Mm-hmm. I think that was a really good decision because it's it's such like a good cinematic film. All of the flight scenes were actually done. Like I don't understand how they did them. I read about this. Basically, they actually wanted a full jet. They didn't want to green screen the jet. Yeah, they didn't at all. Yeah, they did. Like they fully like went out and got someone to did. fly. Out. Isn't that about like? I know stuff about like Tom Cruise does his own stunts and stuff like that. I yeah. don't think he flew the. Yeah, jet. no, <laughs> <laughs> he was in them a couple times, but like he didn't fly them. But like, there's just it's hard to describe. But there's it just has like a weight to it that you don't get with CGI. It just look like things like when the plane pulls up, you can see the air like compress and like push down. And I'm sure they could do something like that with CGI, but it's just I just you guys have to see it. Like you really do. <laughs> I, I feel like you know those kind of like military movies. Sometimes I feel like watching. If I'm going to watch them, I will like watching them at home. Just yeah. like come to. I feel I don't feel like it's a cinema movie for me. But you know what kind of I think actually as of yesterday and as of today. Well, as of yesterday, basically. <laughs> so I was, I was, I saw a Doctor Who clip came recommended back on YouTube. Yeah. So yeah. like, so I watched it. Obviously, I was like, oh, shit. so I went and watched a, a specific episode, or two episodes. So you know, when David Tennant was, well, when David Tennant was there, and it was Rose Tyler. Never seen Doctor Who. Wasn't it oh, Rose? Uh, not uh, was it? Was it Rose Tyler? Yeah, it was Rose Tyler. Oh right, okay, yeah, yeah. I watched, it, I watched it today morning. <laughs> oh, <okay>. <laughs> <laughs> it was basically when the Cyberman kind of came through. Yeah, yeah. And then she got trapped in the other world. I was like, you know what? Yeah, the CGI back then, yeah. You know, like, it, it's so matter for we come out of Marvel, yeah. Like, even if I watch today's Doctor Who, I don't think it... Like, I haven't seen the last few years of Doctor Who. I'm like, I don't think they can match it. Because Marvel has fooled me. Like, yeah. after watching Marvel stuff, yeah, like... Yeah. You can't go back. Or even di- any st- things about Disney, like the animated stuff. You can't go back and watch some of these. Well, like even Shrek, which is amazing, like it looks dated now. Like it does. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I love it, but like you can tell it was made a while ago. I think also, you know, what all of us would say, like the David Tennant, you know, the doctor before him and Matt were Matt like Smith. some of the best doctors. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, bro, we watched it then, but now we have this so that you can't even make someone rewatch it from the back then because the standard is just so high now. Well, that's why, like, not using CGI, it ages, like, Jurassic Park still looks amazing. That film is older than all of us. Like, Top Gun still looks yeah. good. Lord of the Rings, that's 20 years old, but still, it looks good, because it was mostly makeup. Um, and, like, when you when you overuse it, even those Marvel films at some point soon will end up looking a bit silly to us, probably. But yeah, there's just, there's just something about it. When you actually see it being done on screen, you can just tell, like, your, your eye, like, you, the human eye is so good at, like, seeing if something's real or not. It just feels like better somehow you know yeah so top gun maverick any other films you have seen recently that you think like should go see i heard everything everywhere yeah all at once. i saw it's that last be, uh, week that was really good really as well good. really really recommend that like really like weird and creative like colorful like just oh i i I'd try not to find anything out about it if you can but like of, of the two i would see top gun in the cinema but even though everything everywhere all at once is the better film it's just that, like, I don't think that you need to see that in the cinema. I think that's fine at home as well. Do I need to see the original Top Gun? No. I mean, it helps because, like, they make a few callbacks. There's a great scene in the original. <laughs> I would love to know if they meant to do this. But, like, the main characters are all playing volleyball together. And they've, like, oiled themselves up. And there's, like, 80 music over it. And it's, like, it feels like they've gone, like, for quite an erotic feel to it. It's, like, very macho, like, lingering over their muscles and everything. And, like, again, if you watch on YouTube later, like, you'll be like, what is this? Was it, like, slow motion? Yeah, oh. yeah, like, it is. And it's, like, like they yeah, yeah, like, just the way that they move as well. It was, it sort of feels like a Magic Mike type thing now. <laughs> but, like, they make little nods to, like, funny scenes like that. And also, like, the soundtrack is really good for both. And they've sort of evolved it a bit for this one. Like, and it, I think it does benefit from having seen it. But it's, um, it's, I wouldn't be surprised if you sit and watch it and you think, this, is, this isn't really doing it for me. I, I like the old one, but I don't love it. Whereas I love the new one. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Um, I found out the other week that Hamish watched the, you know, the Spider-Man. Which no, one? Way, uh, no, the latest one. Yeah, yeah. He watched it on like a camera recording or something. Oh, <laughs> no, look, yeah, at the time, yeah, everyone else's schedule clashed that I could have gone with to watch the movie yet. And I was like, I can't bother going by myself, like in the local one. So I just watched at the time because I couldn't risk any more spoilers because I, I know spoilers were like flooding. It was like two weeks in here. So all the spoilers were like flooding in here. Like, and I almost kind of dodge it. I was like, 
So at one time I'm gonna be out with a group. Someone's gonna spoil it or something. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I, I, yeah, I watched the camp rip of it, and then I I watched the HD version after. But you know, did it not ruin it for you? Like, look, see? yeah, I had to to at least avoid the majority of spoilers because <laughs> if you haven't seen a Marvel movie for two weeks, yeah, yeah, it's very hard to it's go exactly. anywhere, listen to anyone talk. Or it's, even check the internet. It's YouTube that ruins it for me. Yeah. Like a thumbnail. Like YouTube thumbnails mm. is full okay, so yeah. much. Yeah. And others want to talk about it and then someone may accidentally slip because they expect everyone to have seen yeah, it. And yeah. I'm like, shit. Yeah. That's why like Doctor Strange, I made sure like shit, I haven't, even if I'm going myself, I'm going to do it. Yeah, yeah. But I don't regret it. I was like, I say money, but it is what it is. But I got bad judgment from like four people. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, now that was like five. <laughs> five. <laughs> yeah. I never listened. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Um, yeah, those two are the films I've seen mm-hmm. recently that I thought were awesome as well. Um, Everything ever all at once and all at once, yeah. Top Gun Maverick. and like it's just so weird, so creative. Like it's such a good sense of humor as well. Like it's I love it. Did you watch Fantastic Beast? I didn't. Oh, no. okay, okay. Or the Dumbledore one. I saw yeah. the first one and I thought it was okay, but then when the second one came out, everyone was like, "It's not good," and I, was, I just didn't bother. Yeah, I watched and... both of them recently, the first two, and mm. because the, the new one's basically out in HD now, so like um, I was just like. Even when I watch it, like want to watch it back in HD, I'm just like, the Grindelwald is different. Like ultimately, I understand like the other guy was probably still a sick actor. Like don't get me wrong, I'm not like discrediting. I think I still think it's a good movie. But he is a good actor, Mads Mikkelsen. Yeah. He is a good actor, but yeah. yeah, yeah. So like, it's just that the the Grindelwald feel that, as I said, I didn't know it was Johnny Depp till recently. Johnny mm. Depp gave mm. was a different kind of mm. like you know you you'd feel like shit. Uh, that's that's a bad guy. Like mm. that guy messed up in the head. You know, like you kind of. You get that feel from the way he played it. But then again, like... Did it explain why he looks different in the film? No. They didn't even say anything. I like, think I think they may have, like, said one sentence on it, like... But, like, he was made, kind of describing him more than... Yeah. But I, I, don't, I don't think they did. Not to my knowledge. I need to rewatch it, as I said. Yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. Do you guys ever watch non-English films? Like... Yeah. Oh, um, wait. Well, like if my Parasite. Parent... Okay, no, no. Yeah, quite a few. Like, yeah, quite a few. I've seen... One of my favorite films of all time is a French film. Oh yeah, what? It's called The Climb. Oh, it's I on Netflix. I feel like I've seen it. Yeah, yeah. It's only 2017. It's about this guy who like has a crush on this girl, so he climbs Mount Everest <laughs> to like. <laughs> oh, I thought it was a documentary. No, like, no, oh, no. You know the Alex Honnick thing where he climbs El um, El Capitan. Yeah, yeah. Love that documentary. I thought it was something. What like free that. solo? Yeah, yeah. That, free solo. Yeah, that's. It. I watched that the other day. What? Why? <laughs> <laughs> do you, do you, have you heard of this? I have no idea what this is. It's a film called Free Solo. So El Capitan's uh, this mountain in America, California, yeah, in Yosemite, and he like he just he free soloed it. He was the first person to do it, maybe the only person, or one of the walls on it, and it's, he basically climbed it like without no harness, nothing, like just like straight up like. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it was. I think it's. It took him just over two hours. I think, yeah. and it's. It's not like. The like crevices or something they have to like hold on to are, like only fits his thumb and yeah like it's like insane. toes. And... It's a really really good documentary. Like you should give it a go. But yeah, yeah. I I just I I just kind of like don't watch too much anymore these days. I feel like as well. Yeah. Like I there was a point where I was watching some of the TV shows, but uh, the only ones I've seen recently are stuff like One Division. What was the the Falcon one? Oh um, yeah, Falcon. Low key. Soldier. Yeah. I feel like I don't watch too much nowadays. Before we round off the episode. I think this is related. Uh, we we were with Anna and James at the weekend, and they said you guys went to a comedy show recently. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How's that? Which comedy show? <laughs> um, it's just like stand up. It was like, like oh. top secret comedy club, um, yeah. Covent Garden. Uh, so it's like it. Yeah, I really really enjoyed it, but like mm-hmm. we were a little bit late to the thing, so the only seats available really were right at the front. <laughs> so I was like front row, middle, directly in front of the comedian. And they immediately just went after me, like immediately. <laughs> that sound, that sounds like one of my worst nightmares. You know what I've tried to do? Yeah, wait, when I used to, when I like been to comedy gigs, I always try to book as like close to the front as possible. So in case yeah, you do get like rinse time. Right. Plus, that's the best best seat as well in the house here. Yeah. yeah. So like, if you do manage to get that, that's the best seat. Yeah. Well, if you get rinse here, then it's like a talking factor for you and your friend. Like, or oh. like if your friend gets rinsed, uh, anyway. So like now you have like this amazing talking factor. Obviously, if you can handle it. the rinsing, yeah. 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 Exactly. So now I loved it. I I love I love getting like all comedy involved. Like you're more involved in the show as well, right? So yeah, the closest I've been is like four rows. I think I've been four rows from the front. That's the closest I've been in any comedy show. Oh, you gotta you gotta go front yeah. next time. Yeah. Like no, but like it's hard to the ones I go to like the like Mo Gilligan and stuff like that. It's oh, hard like, to get. Yeah. Okay. So I try, but I get what I can for the group, and then it is ways, and then well, pe- this one. people don't regret, you know. No, yeah, well, this one's like, it's 20 quid and you see five comedians. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. it's well worth it. It's like, you're there for like over three hours as well. This is the one that's that different, like, 
locations, right? No, this is it's a set location, but like you don't always know the lineup. So like people okay. like quite big comedians come there to practice their material. Like Ramesh Ranganathan yeah. goes quite a lot. Like Joe Lysett does it quite a bit. Mm-hmm. There was an American guy that I I quite like. He he was a surprise one when when we went. His name's Mark Normand. Okay. It's like yeah, it's a quite dry humor. But yeah, they uh, they really went for all of us actually at the start. Like, <laughs> they were making fun of my job for a while, and then and then she goes to Anna. Like, she says, "And what do you do?" And she was like, "I'm a social worker. I work with children." And the MC was like, "Damn!" Like, <laughs> like, she was like, "Oh, thank you. I I have an autistic son. I really appreciate the work that you do." And then she <laughs> just moved on. Like, how the hell do I make a joke about that? Like, yeah, no, it's really really good fun. Yeah. So like the thing about being at the front is like. Uh, if you're gonna make a joke about it, just make it funny. Just make yeah. sure it's funny. Like make 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 sure I laugh as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I couldn't I couldn't care less what the joke is. What if, like, if it's dead? Are you like booing or heckling? I'm not gonna boo or heckle. <laughs> like nah, because no. If you if you do that, then you're asking for like a worst hero joke to be sent at you. Like just take the joke, have a good laugh, carry on. You know, because then you know like you you don't want to ruin the vibe. Like if you're trying to send oh, back yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Like okay. anyone who sends back out a comedian is stupid, especially when they have the mic. Like, yeah, that's just the most stupidest thing you could do. You weren't tempted to slap them across the exactly. face. <laughs> no, but like in general, like right. Um, I remember like people who try to like heckle a comedian from the crowd or say something from the crowd. Yeah, like it's the dumbest thing to do, bro. Comedians are quick witted. Yeah, like exactly. Yeah, and like they're gonna say shit with a good punchline, even if it's like last second. It's not that great, and it's gonna be on TV. Like the yes. camera's on them. The camera, you're just gonna look like an idiot in the crowd. Yeah. afterwards, <laughs> just take the L, and you know, just see, just look like a good sport. Carry on. Yeah. No. And you I, can say I was there for that moment. <laughs> when, when she came out on stage for us, like standing in the middle, like she looks straight at me and says, "You look like a virgin," <laughs> like straight away. And then Gina was like, "He is." <laughs> so I had uh, I had to deal with that for like two hours, but no, it was. Oh crazy. man, no, nah, that's. <laughs> not... You got to do it at some point. No, I I went and I went went to one in America as well when I was there, but it was because we like had a friend who was like performing i think uk like because we relate to it i think it's just a lot more funny you know like and we can i do find out when when i'm like watching clips or anything if i can relate to it mm-hmm. yeah i find i'm like yeah just a lot i know what you mean i think funny, yeah. i think i'm more into american comedy at the moment like i do i yeah. do really like like ramesh ranganathan like joe lysa james a cast ramesh is not american he's english i mean like so i, okay. I like them a lot like as british <laughs> okay guys, like i think more at the moment i think i'm more into american stuff you know oh, okay but yeah, well, I've heard good stuff about like Dave Chappelle and. But I like Bill Burr. Uh-huh. Bill Burr's, I think. Bill Burr, okay, funny. yeah. I think I saw the last good Kevin Hart like stand up comedy um, live, and then after that, it went downhill. But oh, is he not good anymore? I've, I've not I, actually watched his stuff. I feel like his other stuff maybe set such a so high standard, or at least it was so like in your face that you had to see it. Mm. And like that was a good standard back then. But then mm. with the UK people, people like Mo, you know, Mo Gilligan and so yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Like it's just a different gravy. Like, you know, the comedy like Kojo, like it's just a different gravy of UK comedy. Like, yeah. And we and we have like obviously the people on Would I Lie to You, Cancer Scan, and all of these people. Like, there's so many funny people in the UK. Like, happen. they don't really have those panel shows as much in America. Yeah. Right? It's kind of no, funny no. that they don't. You know, we have this so such a big. You could utilize country. like so much like comedy. You know, like yeah. I wonder how it'd be if you took like one of those UK shows and broadcasted it on American TV. Like, if it would do well. Apparently, like uh, the QI, the Stephen Fry show. That apparently that does quite well in America. Okay. Yeah, I think Stephen Fry's pretty big. Yeah, there. he is. Yeah, or well, he's not on it anymore, is he? But I guess it right, used yeah. to be him. Yeah, I'm thinking it would have to be someone that is clearly understood, like you know, like to like because Americans don't like the way we speak for some reason. They think like no, they you know, do. No, but no, do you know what I mean? Like they don't. They sometimes they can't understand what we say, even though it's like so straightforward. And like we can understand what they say, but they just can't understand what we say. Yeah, but it's just like it has to be someone that's clearly spoken at least to them. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know who that would be, bro. I think Ricky Gervais is quite big there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, mm-hmm. he does quite a lot of tours in America at the moment. Does, like, the Oscars and stuff, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Golden Globes, yeah. yeah. But, yeah, I think we're, like, coming towards the end. Was there anything, like, anything missing that you wanted to talk about, or...? I don't think so. I think we've covered quite a lot. It's gone by quite quickly, actually, hasn't it? But, yeah, no, it's been uh, been really good to chat to you guys. I'll look forward to the 200th episode celebration. <laughs> yeah. Not even do, we, we may just do, like, a, if we were to do another celebration, it would just be, like, However many years at the third wheel. Yeah. Which would be like three if we were to do it this year. Is it? Is it? I thought it was already three. Like No, it'd be three this year. Wait. Well, since release. Okay. Since uh, the first our, episode. Our event out. was two years. Oh, I thought your event was 100th episode. Which was roughly two oh, okay. years. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, Do tears. I have one of those stickers for my phone because I lost the one that you gave me. At the we end. actually gave them all away. <laughs> we, no, <laughs> but we could could get more. Yeah, I don't think they're too expensive. Well, if you like produce a T-shirt, I definitely buy one. You know, some third wheel merch. Yeah. That's what we need. We talked about it for ages, but like, well, not for ages. We, we just, we just want something sick. Like even for that event, like we discussed the idea, and like should I just say one of the ideas that we had? Yeah, it was like a kind of like a glow in the dark, like third wheel, like logo on the thing. So like it would just wow. like kind of glow in the dark, and it would have been nice at that event. It would have probably worked, but. It's and it's expensive, the peas. And, yeah, and like there's only so much we can su- help subsidize. Or so, like we say, even if we took no profit, it's still an expensive t-shirt ultimately. Yeah, Manscaped sponsor us. Are you looking for a sponsor? <laughs> take we'll take, we'll take anything. <laughs> Would you like? And believe me, like we'll plug it. <laughs> I'll plug in every single topic if you want me to. <laughs> I'd love to know what your limit is. Like, is there anything you wouldn't accept as a sponsor? No, no, like yeah, I, I wouldn't accept Liverpool. <laughs> Club. I, want to accept I thought you were going to say something serious. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, towards the end, so we end it off with like some final questions, a call out, and a shout out. So, first question for you is: If you were on death row, what would be your chosen last meal? And this can be like three course, five course. Or... You know what? My my nan asks me this question like all the time. Like every time I see her, she asks me as if she's never asked me before. And my answer is always something like, oh, "Can I enjoy a meal? Like if I'm gonna die in like an hour?" But, that's, that's no, a, that's a good you know what I would? I would like I, I love like good like good like fish like good seafood or, or whatever. Okay. So like, there's this thing that my no, mom, I the seafood. They do. I know. I'm probably gonna get some seafood. <laughs> um, my mum makes this like quite nice like. Uh, monk, it's called monkfish, like really nice, like meaty white fish. I love it, absolutely love it. So I probably have that. Probably smoked salmon to start, you know, and then cheese for dessert. Just cheese. I love, I love cheese. <laughs> yeah. I'm more, like if I no, don't any like particular cheese or like if a I platter. For, like a nice, like, if I ever go out for dinner or something, and like we're getting dessert, then I would get the cheese. I like like really strong blue cheese. I've got like a cheese making kit over there actually. Oh, <laughs> I need to use that at some point, but uh, yeah, that's what I would do. What about a drink? Beer or wine, probably. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. If a film was being made on your life, who would you want to play you? I was thinking maybe Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of an Fair unexpected enough. cut. Nobody thought Heath Ledger would be a good Joker. I think Dwayne would be a good me, you know? No, we weren't expensive. <laughs> 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 well, it would need the budget, obviously. Like, if a film's going to be made about me. It's Especially not... for the makeup he'd need. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he needs makeup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the, uh, our, or Ryan Reynolds, I think would be a good one. Although maybe maybe he's too old now. I don't know. Yeah. He's, he's younger than Dwayne Johnson. Isn't he? Yeah, but Dwayne, like, you know, if you can get Dwayne in your film, yeah, like, fair it enough. doesn't matter. <laughs> I was going to say, like, Tom Holland or something. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Actually. I, I was going to crack better than No, When you said Dwayne Johnson, I was going to say, I'll, I'll take Kevin Hart. Because yeah. uh, he's short. Yeah. Actually, that's a good point. Tom Holland does vaguely look like me, I guess, except with a lot more talent. <laughs> I feel like Tom Holland's shorter, though. He is. That's like, yeah, he is. And third and final question is what has been your most memorable third wheeling experience? And that's, apart from this. Yeah, apart from this. <laughs> and that's, that's if you third wheeled or if uh, someone's third wheeled you. The first thing that comes to mind is, um, and this involves Alfie. <laughs> So we were doing a friend's birthday a few years ago and we booked somewhere in Whitechapel, I think, just an Airbnb overnight. We did that a few times when we were living in London. And uh, it was meant to be just me, Alfie and two other guys. So that we were sharing two double beds. And obviously there were several more people that ended up coming back. And I had to share a bed with Mr. Alfred and with um, somebody that he had met that night. <laughs> okay. Wait, first time, being... first time meeting? No, no, they were, they, they were part okay. of the friend group. Okay. But, um, but no, I remember being furious, like this tiny double bed like I had to share with Alfie and somebody else, even though I paid for the thing and organized it. <laughs> like, I was so angry at him. <laughs> but yeah. Can I just say, yeah, like, you know, you, you lot always mention, mention Alfie, but I have no idea who this person is. I think you have. All him. I know is Alfie is a name. And that's what I, that all of you lot always say. Like, I've so got, between. Mine, mine not men, I've got a framed not photo men, of him in the living room, so I'll show it to you. Before we'll figure out if it's a familiar face. Wait, is it, is it just Alfie? Yeah, it is. <laughs> We've got one of Marcus as well. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So yeah, that's the most memorable for me. The next section. The next section is a call out. We a call out or nomination. So you could basically nominate one or many people to hopefully be a guest on in the future, whenever we next record. I'm going to be a bit boring and, and say my my housemates Kadir Halal Shah, uh, who you guys haven't met before. He's just been spent two weeks in Cannes at the Cannes Film Festival, so he's got quite quite a cool job working on movies and stuff 
and um, Josh, who's downstairs. So nice, nice. We'll uh, we'll tag him when we like release your episode. Yeah, I think okay, uh, mention it to appreciate Josh. that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Last bit's just a shout out. So like anything you want to like plug, promote, whatever we'll put. If there's anything we'll put links to it in the description. I don't have anything to promote, but I think um, just the whole you know the contraception thing, and also that women's health report that's going to come out later this year. Really interested to see what happens with that and uh, whether it's actually like worth looking at, or whether it's actually a, an important piece of work, or if it's just another distraction, you know. So, those two things, yeah. Hey, Michelle, yeah, mine was going to be the woman's um, health thing that links that you mentioned earlier, and then an album called Chasing Euphoria by Emancho. <laughs> what, what is that? Is that? I can't say the word properly, can I? Chasing Euphoria. No, oh, you okay. said it. You said it right. I said it right. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. That's that new album named by Emancho. Oh. Um, I'm going to shout out the Queen. Queen Liz. Um, Big shout out to Liz. We're not in work today. So. Yeah. Eric Ten Hag for the next season. Good luck, boss. <laughs> and one matter who's leaving the club. Well, before we, what's the what's your prediction next season where in Manchester, what man you're going to end? That's Don't another episode. That. We're in the league. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. I'm going to say top four. Be realistic. Like, top four. Fourth then. No, top <laughs> top four. So we could, we could, I'm not ruling out a league. No, come on, let's be serious. Like third. You think third, third or fourth? Third or fourth. Okay. All right. And uh, right and a, and a trophy as well, like Europa League, FA Cup, Carabao Cup. One. I like the optimism. That's that's a problem with me. I'm I'm always optimistic before the start of the season. Yeah. Um. But ask me again, like August the first, and it might change. <laughs> and still make it to first if all of these like, lose these games. That <laughs> yeah, man. It will, it takes a couple injuries. And... If you watch Arsenal fan TV after watch the compilations, yeah, he's he's. Tie. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not tired. I Josh was probably see. I'm now that you mentioned. He it, probably I'm, hates it if he's Arsenal fan. He's true. I he feel like it. he has mentioned it. But I'm like, on. To ask him. I'm like a B Tech tie. B Tech tie. That's n- surely you'd want tie to be a B Tech you. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not that bad. Trust. Trust. But yeah. Thank. Thank you so much, Matt, for coming on. Cheers, guys. Thanks for coming all the way over here as well. Of course. Yeah. Before we end, we got some news to break to you. Oh God. <laughs> You 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 weren't our like return guest. I am your return. Oh no, I'm not. Yeah, yeah. Not. Okay, yeah. <laughs> How many have you filmed? Have you, like, no, we recorded? we released one like a month ago. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was the yeah, return. That was our return guest. Oh, I did actually listen to that one. Yeah. <laughs> that like, so did, oh, no. did did you hear it like the beginning of the episode where we were like, oh, we're back again <laughs> after like so long and all that. I did, and I, I at the time, like I say, at the time it was like an hour and a half ago. Yeah. I was like, oh, I didn't know I was like part of the launch, but whatever, I don't care. <laughs> when uh, when we were with James and Anna the weekend, they were like, "Oh, I heard you getting Matt on. You're so excited to be your first guest back, back over." <laughs> and I was like, "Wait, he's not though." <laughs> I, did, I did say that to them actually. Like, yeah. I was like, finally, like part of the big relaunch, you know. Yeah, so and we got to like, make sure we have like a like a, a name or something special in the names that people click on it so this is like the the relaunch after a month yeah re-relaunch I'll take that okay that's if this comes out in a month well comes out a month oh, after yeah, yeah. <laughs> so to be fair by the time this comes out it could be a relaunch it could be too much yeah. <laughs> it could be another relaunch I'll take that but yeah hope everyone else has enjoyed listening enjoy the episode and we will catch you again whenever we record next have a good day bye bye nice bye. Studios, my second home. That's why I have it in my bedroom. I really do this all on my own. The shark quarry and my brother home. And he was here from the day one. And not gonna lie, he's a real one. In my team, there are no fake ones. It's a fake love, no, I don't want. I can't lie.